Welcome, everyone. This is the News at 11. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. The big story we're following tonight, there's an ambitious new plan in the pipeline now to address vacant properties all across Baltimore City. It would spend as much as $5 billion in public and private money over a decade and a half. According to a presentation tonight from Mayor Brandon Scott, along with business and faith leaders, WJZ is live at 11 from City Hall. Christina Mendez on your corner tonight. And Christina, walk us through how this investment now aims to tackle the issue that is certainly plaguing many communities. Well, guys, Mayor Brandon Scott says that this right here will be a roadmap for solving the vacant property crisis in the city and will take public, private, and even some state funds to get the job done. And when you invest in our neighborhoods, it will be to the benefit of the entire city. On Monday, a commitment to rebuild Baltimore was laid out. This has to change. Mayor Brandon Scott, alongside the Greater Baltimore Committee and faith leaders with BUILD, announce a plan to invest $3 billion over 15 years to address up to 45,000 properties, vacants, at risk structures, and empty lots. That starts with a pledge from the city of Baltimore for $300 million. The agreement calls for financing the project through a combination of city, state, and private funds, and for there to be a whole blocks approach when redeveloping. The city needs it, and we need our elected officials to stand behind what the community needs. While the blueprint is drawn for how the team intends on tackling the work ahead, data from the city shows progress in the vacant property crisis. Over the last five years, every time there's a downtown investment in the harbor and the sports teams, in the convention center, everybody flocks together. They don't ask questions. They find the money and they make the commitments. But when it's time for investments in neighborhood, everybody gets a little quiet. This time, I believe it's extremely different. Will you see this through? Yeah. There's been a near 20% decline in vacant building notices. Still, blight, crime, and the deaths of five city firefighters battling service calls involving these structures since 2022 has many demanding for follow through. And a timeline was not given for when this plan will be in place, but those spearheading the effort do say one of the next steps will be talking with leaders down in Annapolis, which includes Governor Wes Moore. I'm reporting live from Baltimore tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC. All right, Christina, thank you.